come for a studio tour. I love this tree when we first bought this. We got this actually at Ikea. There's gonna be a lot of Ikea stuff in here, but this tree was like this small, or maybe it was like this small, but now it's like branched out as you can see. And um, I obviously share this room with um, three of our cats. So this is like their playhouse. We art together, me and um, my kids. This is the one that my daughter did about a few years ago, three years ago. Um, it's obviously a Van Gogh rendition. And this is another Van Gogh <laughs> in crayon in second grade. My son did that painting. And I just love bringing life into the studio. I don't even know what these plants are called other than the money tree. <laughs> and there's, a other, there's another plant that I know the name of, but I have no idea what this is <laughs> called. I got this from Lowe's. Um, and it's again, this is one of the ones. Oh wait, no, I didn't get it from Lowe. This came from Ikea as well. Yeah, it came from Ikea. It did. Um, so this is an Ikea hack, but all this is right here are just two bookshelves. Bookshelves that are put together and we got this from Ikea as well and all of these bins we use for storage. Um, for supplies and such and basically whatever else I want to put in there um, towels dirty towels for art smocks or whatever but all this stuff are all IKEA hacks that I love because during the holidays we usually have a lot of people in the family that come and join us so this gets cleared off and we kind of use it as a multi-purpose room where we use this as like a table for the whole family, not the whole family, but like six people, cause it's like, you know, two here, wait, two, four, well, whatever. Usually four people can sit on one here, three here, and then we have chairs, like three chairs just on the outside. So a total of six people um, can fit here. And then, you know, the dining room, the main dining room, obviously. But this is awesome because this serves as a multi-purpose room. Not just for my art, but during the winter time and holidays and parties and stuff, that's what that's used for. Um, as you can see here, this shelving right here I got recently. Um, this I got from Jerry's Arama, and it's basically like you know a place to hold my paintings and for it to dry and stuff like that, or just little stuff. Just a place where you can stay away from things and just get stays dry and organized or whatever. I'm gonna tell you about these shelves. These shelves is an idea that came from one of my favorite art artists. Her name is Emily Mackey. You've probably heard of her, but if not, I'm going to put the description of her art hack that I used um, from one of her videos. And it's just amazing because these shelves right here, as soon as I saw that video, I was like, oh my gosh, I need something like that in my studio. So like within two days that weekend, I went out, bought the stuff, and my husband and um, daughter installed it for us. And it was like just like that, and as you can see, you can pull many, many, many different uh, paintings on here. And um, it's, it's just great, you know, because it, it's great to display and everything. This, this um, my husband got for me for Christmas one year when I started getting serious about painting. But um, you can get this at any art store. Michaels have a ton of these, and they're like 30 bucks or something. But what also comes in handy are these little things that um, that are magnet, but you can hold, you know, whatever you want in here. This is just hangers for for those big canvases. But this is perfect because look, it's magnet, and um, I keep like all my art supplies, like the you know, as you can see, the painting stuff, um, all in here. There's all different sizes. And everything, acrylic paints. And here's another rack that I recently got as well. And I love plants. It just, I love that vase. It's like probably one of my favorite vase. Okay, and then this, this is probably one of my favorite, favorite trees. This is called uh, a string of bananas. And this is so unique. I love it so much. 
look at it. It's just so pretty and like if you zoom closely, you can see it looks a little bit like bananas. But that um, that I got and it works fine. I mean, it's not like an H frame, but I, I mean, I really like it because you can put like stuff on here, you know, brushes and stuff and you can even extend this out. It's perfect for what I needed for, you know, and I can do get an upgrade later. And here's like another shelf that I can like put references up here or my iPad that just sits here and dies because nobody uses it. Um, extra storage, extra bins and um, this shelf is pretty amazing. Got it from Amazon, but um, there you have it. This is my little studio that has, is very open to the outside deck. You can see here, you can just come out to the back and let you some fresh air. See the outside. Oh, my pepper plant is awesome. These are very hot, 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 hot. Look at these ghost peppers. Not in nature out here, not in nature. In my little studio um, in my own home, so I'm very blessed to have this kind of space. And that's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Closing out from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Please remember to hit a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!